This is a set of folding 400 watt panels from Nerds By. It is their Solar Epic Model 400. Check that out. nice set of panels i showed them deployed because they're not doing me no good folded up i'll fold them up later on in the video and show you everything that comes with the kit but you know they're not out in the sun they ain't making power so here's the nerves of ice solar epic 400 folding panel against some glass you can see the size comparison i hope i'll get you full measurements on it in a minute got a good clear sky today good and cold so we're going to test this out a couple of different ways going to put it on a portable power station see how it tracks on a portable power station because that's what this is marketed for is portable uh, power big power you know, that's a lot of a lot of folding glass right there if you will and i'm going to test it against monocrystalline glass panels on a midnight solar charge controller at high noon so just see how it compares to uh, to real glass Still waiting for high noon for the Nerds Vi Solar Epic 400 to compare to the glass on a real charge controller. But it's on a portable power station, a Zendor. So let's go check and see what it's doing about an hour before peak sun. So I've got the Nerds Vi Solar Epic 400 folder on this Zendor portable power station. An hour before peak sun, the panel's pushing through 83 into the Zendor out of a possible 400 rating from the company. So that's not too bad considering the sun's not even directly overhead on the panels. I like that. Impressive so far. And I like seeing solar panels, folders like this Nerds by Solar Epic with the textured front layer on it. That, in my experience, helps collect a little a few more photons in there and makes it more efficient overall. It's got a rough texture compared to some of your folders that are smooth. Here's another folder. I'll show what I'm talking about with the smooth texture. You can see there's no, there's no ripples or no bumps on this, and it's just a smooth surface. This is a 200 watt rated panel and the best I've ever got out of it is 112 to 120. A little bit breezy, so I had to get creative with the uh, the kickstand. I'd set the kickstand up before and the panel was holding. Then the winds come in and start blowing the, the side panels out. So an old broomstick there and uh, to my floor over there, but I got it uh, I got as close to, to straight as I can considering I'm getting gusts to 35 very soft when I'm trying to film. So I'm doing the best I can. All right, approaching high noon. So about the best power I can get out of the panels for the day. This is going to the 12 volt rig. This is on the glass panels right now. As you can see, 320 watts. That's about the best they ever do. This is good conditions today because 320 is about the best I've seen all winter on these panels with this controller right here. So I'll let it roll through one more time. Then I'll go outside and connect to the Nerzvi Solar Epic 400 and we'll compare directly within a matter of 60 to 90 seconds, however long it takes me to swap out the lead. So there we go. 319 uh, off of the glass panels. All right, now I've got the Nerzvi Solar Epic 400 on there. I don't think we're going to do as good because the voltage is quite a bit lower on the folding panel. And this is a long run over 100 feet to get here to this controller. And you saw the glass panels were at very high voltage. You'll see, see right there, the nerves is only at 32.2. So get a little bit of voltage drop when it's tracking, running that far of a line lead. That's why I had the glass panels set up series with a high voltage to make up for the voltage drop across the long length cable. So that's not reflective of the panel's performance. That's more to do with my wire installation and the added length. So 288, 289 out of the nerves box. You can see the, you know, the input making here to the controllers, 32.2 volts. All right, disconnected from the midnight solar charge controller. I'm gonna put it back to the power station and see what it does on the Zendor power station with just a short little run of wires directly from the panel to the power station. Back on the Zendor, look at the Nerds by Solar Epic. Wow, 419, 420 watts out of a nominal 400 watt panel out of a folder nonetheless. That's good performance right there. That is solid. And how large are these folding panels right here? I'll throw a tape measure on here for you. They're about as big as a sheet of plywood, real close to it. So we're 91 long and about 42 tall. So just a little bit smaller. Then a four by eight sheet of plywood, just for reference. And this set of 400 watt compared to the folders, I'm 81 wide on this model of panel. Uh, just a little over, well, right about 42 and a half, but the actual collection area is smaller than that. Just, you know, giving you full comparison between the two. And how much do they weigh? 
right about 40 pounds if you include the little case that they come with so they're pretty pretty heavy um you know for a portable you know, not for backpacking but for like rvs or boats something like that that were or van life where you can carry the panels in a you know vehicle and then deploy them oh yeah excellent choice and here's the junction box on the back of the panels right here you can see it's a weather tight junction box they don't recommend submerging these pounds or anything like that but you know being out in the rain storm or something like that should be fine uh, i'm planning on leaving these out permanently i'm gonna give you a long-term outdoor weatherproof test on them i've left some other folding panels out for months at a time and not been affected so you know these nerves visor are not going to be any different and they also come with an adapter so you got mc4 that connects you know to your leads coming off the panel to fit all kinds of different things so you got xt60s anderson's dc 555s and uh, aviation style connector right there so you can adapt to whatever kind of power station or device you're using. So I've got the kickstand crudely put up today. This is my gripe about the panels. It's got a solid board in this section of the case right here. You're supposed to take this section of the case and put it at the front of the panels and clip it in through the eyelet terminals or through the rings down there to support it. Uh, I'll show you the book. Now this is how they recommend setting it up. So basically it just supports the two center panels uh, of the set of four that's on this set. So if you're in a windy situation or uneven ground, uh, that's my gripe. You have to add a makeshift kickstand to keep it, you know, straight as you can get it. So like I said, I've used old broomstick right there and a two by four over there to keep it straight. So that's, you know, that could have some improvement. You could have, you know, maybe some kind of metal stand to go with it or additional supports for the outsides of the panel. So that would be my biggest gripe so far, but performance wise, you know, does that make up for it? Cause it really performs. And there are the official measurements right there, according to the manufacturers. And the open circuit voltage on the nerves by Solar Epics are 47.1 volts under full sun. And their specification is 49.8. And here are the panels folded up. Very small, compact from how big they were before. And easily zips back up into its included carrying case right there. Got a nice little seal on there on that zipper. So you can seal them back up. I'm trying to do this one handed, so there we go. Zip them back up, then included straps, carrying handles. So you can put it over your shoulder or, you know, carry them by hand, whatever you want. Nice little case. So you can see, very compact for storage for if you're camping or whatever. You can stow it in a bunk or something in your RV. If you're van life or whatever, you can stow it in a roof rack or under seats or however you can fit it. So can I recommend the NERSVI 400 watt solar EPIC panel, folding panel set? Yeah, if you're using on portable power stations um, or van life, car life, uh, RVs, camping, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, that's a pretty good little set of panels. They fold up nicely right there. They produce more than they're rated for, which is real nice to see because I've got a lot of glass panels that don't even come close to their rating. Um, yeah, those right there. So yeah, uh, I can recommend them. I'll give you a link in the description if you want to look further into these. Check them out more, get current pricing, things like that. And thank you, NERSVI, for sending these in for testing, for me to share the results with you and the viewing audience. So I hope everybody saw how these panels can perform and maybe, you know, a use case scenario for you. Uh, if you got use case scenarios for folding panels or how you really use them, let me know in the comments section. I'm going to deploy these back out after completing this video and run them in the weather for six months to a year. And I'll give you an update video to see how they hold up or if anything happens uh, during that time. So hope everybody enjoyed. Appreciate it if you hit that like button. Really helps the channel. Y'all have a good day. Be safe and take care. See y'all on the next one.